All right, people. And this guy decided he wanted to come all the way down from upstate New York, not the city, from New York. To, and, and what are you doing up here? Training dogs. This guy, he's about to get on one knee and ask his longtime girlfriend that big question. And we gonna see if she said, I do or I don't. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the puppy out there. We're gonna do some obedience, have some fun with him. And then Jamil's gonna get Creed. We're gonna put Mark in the suit. And Mark, apparently he has issues about cramping. So we got some pickle juice. We're gonna give it to his girl. And then y'all are gonna see me get my Denzel on. I've been watching Training Day all day. So I'm channeling that inner Denzel. And then he's gonna be like, oh my God, I'm cramping. I'm like, hey, get the pickle juice, get the juice. And then he's gonna come up and then he's gonna say, baby, I know we've been through thick and thin and, and I just want to make an honest woman out of you so will you take my hand in marriage and then she might cry she may smack him and say fuck you and if she does say all of that it's going to be in high definition and we are still posting tomorrow so what does Trevor say press play and post press play and post we'll see you everybody alright so, so what are you going to tell her yeah, you got, you got it. You thought out already. Impromptu. Impromptu. So that means he has no clue, and he's gonna be stuttering like. Is in high def? Yeah. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see my acting skills. And at this age, it's all about teaching. Let's go. And he doesn't really like going down. So what we're gonna do is I got my reward, and then we're gonna take his mind off of it. Good boy, yes. Good boy, come on. Yes. And each step that he makes, he's going to get a reward. Go get it. So then he learns it's worth getting over his fears. Yes, I fuck. Yep, 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 yeah. When you're working with your dog people, remember, it's a process. Did you, the first time you ever tried anything, were you successful? Probably not. It probably took you errors and mistakes and it took you step by step getting a little bit better and a little bit better to get more and more confidence. And then after you've done it once or twice, three dozen times, now you're not worried about it. So at this age, I'm not worried if he does these things, if he's worried, if he's whining a little bit, if he's a little insecure, as long as he overcomes that. Yes, I'm up. Come on, Pup. Let's go. Yep. Come on, bro. So what we're doing here is I'm not pulling, but I'm not allowing him to back out either. So then I'm gonna motivate. Yes, a kaboo, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, so he's gonna revert. And that's fine. And then, okay. Good boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That ain't. <laughs> He thought he was getting a gum reward. So now the elevator's over here and we're gonna go out. It is perfectly fine to stress your dog out. It is perfectly fine to put them in situations where they are unclear about what they're supposed to be doing. But you wanna be there to relieve that pressure, that stress, and teach them that if I'm asking you to do anything, you can do it and you can be successful at it. Stay tuned. We So now we're gonna go to the tomb. <laughs> he ain't worried at all. I thought we were gonna have to motivate him just a little bit. Nope. So now that we are in the elevator, I want him to know that he should be paying attention here. So he starts learning that this is what he should be doing in this situation. And again, it may not be perfect the very first time we're in this elevator, but the next dozen times, he's gonna know what to do because he's in here, he's getting rewarded. There's something for him. He's a good boy. That's a good boy. And all we're doing now is just building that confidence, people. Putting these dogs in a lot of different experiences. Yes, a good boy. A lot of different situations and making them successful. All right, so this is a big crowd of people coming up here. This is big so I want to make sure, oh, oh, I want to make sure I got my reward here. And we're gonna see if 
I can get him to pay attention to me, I'm not doing a very good job already. Then all of these crowded people up there. And again, going downtown, there's going to be buses, there's going to be large crowds of people, there's going to be buildings, all of the above. And this is all going to build confidence between you and your dog. So here comes the crowd. Here comes the crowd. We're going to go over here a little bit. And he was a little distracted. That's a big old crowd of folks over there. He, he, I bet he feels like he's on Discovery Channel right now. Everybody's looking at him. What's going on? But he's not barking, he's not trying to run away, and that's what we're looking for. You want to build the dog's confidence. Get him in, in these situations and let him know. You don't need to be worried, you don't need to be fearful, insecure, anything like that. You look to me, and we're gonna put you in the most, the ideal situation to be successful. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes. Alright, let go. Come on, Brohemian. What type of dog is that, bro? He's a German Shepherd. Shoot, man, that's a sick dog. I appreciate it, man. Kid, you didn't want to walk on these because you thought they were going to fall through. Hey! And this is what we want. We want a dog who just doesn't care. I thought he was going to be a little suspicious about it. I'm trying to give y'all something to learn. But if you get a good breeder, and they're going to expose their dog to a lot of stuff, when you get the dog and you get out in situations like this, you're not going to have to do that much work. So make sure you're researching the breeder. Make sure they're trying to bring the best out of their dog. You guys want to say hello to my, my buster? Hey, what's up, little guy? Come here. His name is Bro. What up, Bro? Bro. Just like that. I'm what up, dog? That's how we call him. What is he? German Shepherd. German? Mm -hmm. Who's your German? Cool? Yeah. He's going to be a sable color, so. Oh, yeah. He's going to look pretty nice. I'm going by. Yes, sir. Be careful. So when we come out to places like this, I love seeing stairs and steps. And I'm just going to come up here. Come on, Cook. Come on! Oh. And then you get to see how much of a bum you got of a dog. Come on, pup. There we go. Because we know he can do these things. And he's choosing not to. That means he's being bum-like. So we got to continue to raise the bar for him. Come on. And there he goes. Good job, good job. This is a good job. Come on. And for whatever reason, he's weird about going down. So we're going to do a lot of him going down on stuff. Come on. There we go. There we go. You did it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. And again, we just want to change his mindset about things like this. There ain't no reason to be insecure. There's no reason to be scared of all this stuff. You just got to overcome it. And you're gonna have a lot more fun. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Alright, people, so we just talked to security and they said this is a go. Alright, so this is gonna be fun. How how are we gonna do this, people? Man, y'all stay tuned. Alright, people, you definitely want a well-rounded dog, and he's been on my shoulders for about two blocks now, and he's just hanging out. You good? You chilling? You got something to say? And for one reason, for once, he's quiet. <laughs> Take care of the dog. We got Creed. Go, go. We got Creed. We got Creed. And then we got, what are you doing? Why are you always, always running away from the camera, people? You always running away from the camera. And then we got Mark. So it's very important that you take your working dogs out and you do stuff in new environments. So we're going to go down to the plaza down there where you just saw us have the puppy getting on stuff. And we're going to see what Mark does with Miss Your Creed. So y'all stay tuned. All right, people, so we got Mark in his suit. 
and then he's gonna give Creed a presentation. He's gonna catch it, and when he catches, we want to make sure he's absorbing that. We got Creed down there, and we already know Creed knows what he's supposed to be doing. All right, are you good? You good? You ready? Get his attention. put on because I, I'm sure Mark had gave it away about a hundred million times but this is pretty cool to see. Get a face, get a close up of the face. She, I think she's crying. No, she's not crying. <laughs> you got a tear, you gotta make a tear come out. So as always people man, if you find somebody that makes you feel the way that they feel about each other, you wanna lock that down. And as always, just take care of your dog. <laughs> you guys want pictures now? We can take pictures. Give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. 